The news broke on Daniel Richmond's Patreon account on December 31st, 2022, when he revealed that Warner Brothers is looking to adapt the classic Cartoon Network animated series Ben 10 into a feature film. Little else is known, but the studio has put the project into early development with a large budget. Several TV movies were made over the years, but they were all met with poor reviews. Many fans cast Tom Holland in the role of an older Ben Tennyson, seen in the later seasons of Spider-Man Homecoming during his Spider-Man Homecoming days. In the original series, the studio chooses Ben when he is 10 years old. Ben discovers the Omnitrix in a meteor while on vacation with his grandfather Max and cousin Gwen Tennyson during the summer. Ben can transform into 10 different alien species thanks to the Omnitrix and Alien Watch. He eventually unlocks more aliens as he progresses in the show beyond the initial 10. The project does not have a writer or a director attached to it. There is no set date for the release of Ben 10, however, this did not deter fans from fan casting. In this concept of fan art, Tom Holland appears convincing as a grown-up Ben 10. For those who have been living under a rock and are unaware of Ben 10, it's a Warner Brothers Discovery-owned American media franchise created by Manif Action Studios and produced by Cartoon Network Studios. The series follows Ben Tennyson, a young boy who acquires the Omnitrix, an alien device resembling a wristwatch that contains the DNA of various alien species. Ben can transform into a powerful alien with various abilities by using the Omnitrix. The Omnitrix contains 10 aliens at first, but then Ben later requires more species by adding and unlocking their DNA. The Ben 10 franchise has received widespread acclaim, including three Emmy Awards. It primarily consists of five television series and five feature films, the latter of which aired between August 2007 and October 2020. It's Cartoon Network's longest-running franchise, having lasted over 16 years. There is also a Ben 10 toy line for the first four shows, manufactured by Bandai, and a Playmates Toys line for the reboot. Worldwide, the franchise has grossed over $6 billion in retail sales. On February 17, 2021, it was announced that three 44-minute specials based on the series would premiere in April 2021, Ben 1010, Ben Gen 10, and Alien Extinction, which would serve as the series finale to the 2016 reboot and a crossover between the franchise's first four television series. In this day and age of live-action remakes, it's surprising that no studio has taken advantage of the opportunity to bring Ben 10 to the big screen. The Cartoon Network series has seen great success on the platform since its debut in 2005, with numerous shows, TV movies, and video games, so there's bound to be interest in seeing the hero transform into aliens on the big screen. A studio could go one of two ways with a Ben 10 live-action project. They could either cast a young actor in the role, such as Walker Scobell from The Adam Project, or age Ben up and give fans a more mature version of the character. With a focus on the latter, Instagram artist Spider-Man Kicks 3 imagined Hollywood star and Spider-Man star Tom Holland as Ben Tennyson. The fan art is inspired by the older Ben 10, who was introduced to Cartoon Network in the sequel series Ben 10 Alien Force, sporting his iconic green and black Mustang. With Warner Brothers Discovery focusing on its most popular franchises, Ben 10 could be a hidden gem among the studio's biggest names. While it would be preferable to go young with a hero, we can't deny that Holland looks the part. While fan casting Tom Holland in a role is practically a meme at this point, Spider Monkey 33's piece does a convincing job of expressing what the actor could look like as Ben 10, sporting his iconic green jacket and Mustang. The fan art quickly went viral on Instagram, making its way to the British actor's feed. Unfortunately, Holland quickly dashed the hopes and dreams of Ben 10 fans simply responding no to the image. Despite the fact that Holland dropped out of the running, there is still a lot of potential for Ben 10, which has previously had live-action adaptations. Alex Winter, best known for his work on Bill & Ted, directed two live-action films for Cartoon Network. His first, Ben 10 Race Against Time, based on the original cartoon, featured a young Ben Tennyson fighting a future version of himself to avert the apocalypse. Variety called the movie surprisingly fun, comparing it to Power Rangers. Winters followed it up with a sequel just a few years later, indicating that audiences liked it as well. 
Ben 10 Alien Swarm continued the title of hero story, aging up the character and taking place between seasons of Ben 10 Alien Force, Cartoon Network had another hit on its hands, attracting over 4 million viewers and earning an Emmy nomination for visual effects. When we look at the fan casting, you can't say it's not a good fit, he's got the looks, he has acting talent, and he enjoys big budget action movies. In a live action film, Tom Holland would play the perfect older Ben 10. There is one simple truth that no one can deny. Superheroes dominate the modern box office by a wide margin. There is simply no other film genre that comes close to the impressive blockbusters that Marvel and DC produce each year, which is why every studio seems eager to create its own take on the superhero craze. However, the world of superpowered people and pop culture isn't dominated by characters like Superman or Captain America. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of lesser-known superheroes out there waiting for their chance to shine in the spotlight like every mainstream superhero. But what happens when one of those heroes isn't all that unknown to begin with? Ben 10 dominated the kid and preteen market a few years ago. Before the Avengers unleashed a cultural avalanche on an entire generation, kids were obsessed with Ben and his various alien transformations. The show is actually quite entertaining, with some surprisingly serious plot lines for a children's show. With the help of a mysterious device known as Omnitrix, Ben can transform into any number of alien beings, much more than 10 in later seasons, each with their own abilities and personalities. Each episode follows Ben and his sister Gwen as they embark on missions to defeat a wide range of bad guys while learning valuable lessons about friendship, family and teamwork. It sounds exactly like the action shows that were popular in the 80s and 90s, which could explain why Ben 10 had a significant number of fans outside of its target demographic. All of this begs the question, why isn't Ben 10 being turned into a Hollywood blockbuster? The show has been adapted for live action before, in fact more than once. However, if a new film is to succeed with younger audiences, it must have a tangential connection to the Superhero Hall of Fame. That is why we believe that Tom Holland would be an excellent choice to play the title character in a new live-action Ben 10 project. Holland, who is currently starring the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Peter Parker or Spider-Man, has proven to be an expert at portraying the type of character who can make us root for him despite the odds. Holland can easily play Ben due to his natural charm and charisma, as well as his on-screen presence and solid acting chops. Following the explosive success of Spider-Man No Way Home, it's easy to see why Tom Holland would be the right choice to resurrect the Ben 10 franchise and give the hero a proper live-action treatment. The young actor already has a loyal fan base behind him, which means that he won't struggle to gain the attention of a new generation of Ben 10 aficionados. Do you think that Tom Holland should appear in a Ben 10 live-action movie? Well, that's it for now. Make sure that you like our video and please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.